Okay. All right, I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show at the Beneteau booth. And this is their Gran Turismo 32, also known as the GT32. Before we step on board this thing, I am gonna just ask real quick if you consider subscribing to the channel, trying to get that number up to the magic 1000. That's gonna date this video, but so be it. Uh, that's all I got for self-promotion. Let's get into it here with this GT32 by Beneteau. So this one is powered by twin Mercury 300 outboards. You can get twin 350s as the max uh, horsepower for this Hull is 700, so there's a little bit more room there if you want to go a little bit bigger in the power department. Uh, we're going to start right into the back of the boat, though. Cool swim platform hanging out there in that side of the, uh, I guess we'll call it a rear swim platform. It's kind of what it is. Um, you can see power goes in there, all sorts of stuff like that. Can't see it from here, but hard top with a retractable center section, which we'll get a better look at here in a moment. But stepping on... There is some storage down there. They got fenders in there right now. That little door opens up. You can do fenders like they have or whatever you desire. Uh, flip around here before we step into the cockpit, actually. A few things going on down here. That door, the big one, is going to be your uh, wash down with hot and cold water. There's a fuel fill there, water in. And then actually, I believe that is a manual uh, bilge pump backup in case something were to happen with your electronic system. And then there is a gate you can partition the rear off there and lock it into place. Uh, before we step in, I will note, this whole thing does stuff. It can go that way, it can go this way. It really converts the space there, so that's cool. They give you the uh, customization, if you will, of that uh, rear long, long bench seat. Um, I do like the color combo they do on this thing. Uh, it's, it's subtle, but it works. They got little brown and dark gray to offset the light gray throughout much of the upholstery. They do uh, embroider Beneteau into it there, so that's cool to see that. Um, as you can see, there is a cushion here on top of our table right now. You could fill that all in and give yourself a massive sun pad space here, especially considering we're only on a 32 footer, uh, nominally, of course. So that would, uh, a lot of space it would give you. Uh, I can be able to open it up. You can see a couple latches there and there. That whole guy would flip up and that gives you access down into what normally would be an engine room. Of course, it's not on this boat, do the outboards, but they have some things like batteries, storage, other systems of the boat. So here's your uh, galley space in the cockpit. Uh, of course, you got a Kenyan grill there, sink, and then down here is of course a fridge freezer combo currently packed with some nice cold water. And under here, just gonna be access to some systems for the sink and other stuff and a fire extinguisher hanging out there. Uh, around this rear seating area, you can easily fit six people pretty pretty comfortably. So that's a, that's a cool deal. It's a good number to be able to fit on this side of fit on this size of boat comfortably. You can throw two more on either side of the uh, helm area. So two there, two on that other side. And it is a fully enclosed minus the back uh, hardtop cockpit with glass on both sides. You can open some windows up windows up there as well that would flip closed if you wanted to or you could have the window closed to keep it uh, nice and chilled up above our head is that hard top that i mentioned we're going to walk over here show you how that works real quick at least part of the way so you just hold hold that button down if i could hold it down and then that gives you a power retractable hard top really opens up the space on this boat so i'm, I'm a huge fan of these coupes especially with all the hard top that are retractable nowadays on pretty much any of them. So uh, yeah, I will probably forever be a fan of these until I get something of this myself. And even then I'll be more of a fan. <laughs> but anyways, you can see not on right now, there are lights kind of all throughout the ceiling in here. And then at the helm, a uh, lot going on. HVAC vents on either side of your large Garmin glass display there. You get like thruster controls. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff. Right now we're on the radio here. Um, we can turn it down if we want to. We can turn it up if we want to. That was zone one. Uh, so that's down the cabin. Turn it all down there. Yeah. I could, I could play with that for a long time. There's a lot going on there. You can see all sorts of stuff with the boat there. Control all sorts of stuff. Uh, I do like the switch style they use on these. It's not the standard cheap looking uh, plastic rocker switches. Um, but yeah, all sorts of switches there. Standing alone by themselves are your windshield wiper switches. Do you have a zip wake? It's a automatic trim tab system. There's your Mercury engine, Mercury, excuse me, engine monitor controls panel. Of course, joystick control. 
and then standard traditional uh, twin throttles. Uh, not the newest style. Uh, the new style would take these buttons and move them down here. They're still on top. So that's just, as this model's, I want to say probably three or four years since they released this. So some things still have not seen uh, the latest and greatest they have to offer. Uh, what do I have of a note down here? We got this guy. This guy flips up, flips down, depending if you're sitting, standing, if you need more space, less space for legroom, head height, head height, headroom. I'm making up words. And then behind there is just going to be some storage. Uh, Benito does a great job with storage on their boats and just every little nook and cranny, they will fill it with stuff. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go right down into the cabin area. Immediately as we come in is a V-berth area currently set up in a dining table format. That would go down, that cushion would fill it in, and you got a very sizable uh, V-berth. I am six foot one, I would fit right in there, no problem. Uh, let's see, above my head right now, there's, I don't know, I got six inches above my head. I'm not gonna freak my camera out and try to show you guys, but it's there. That is just some storage. Surprised there's not a hanging uh, hanger bar in there so you could hang stuff, but I would guess there's probably one on that side. Uh, one item of note, you can partition that off. That is what's hiding in that door. And above us, there is a track you can see there. So you can partition off the front area there and have some privacy. There's just some storage there. There is a microwave there and a larger fridge freezer combo hanging out there. I'm gonna flip around behind me and check out the head compartment. It is a true wet dry head. Um, of course to the right is gonna be the shower. We step in here. I might get the camera to freak out, but I will show you. There is six foot one. I still got inch and a half, two inches above my head. So pretty usable uh, space here in this head as the door closes on me and it gets really echoey in here. We'll open it back up though here in a sec. So anyways, get more light in here. Finish up the little tour of the shower. But yeah, wet, dry, pretty cool that they offer that. Um, and then down there, of course, my camera. It's, there we go, it's happy again. Toilet, sink, and then you get all sorts of storage, hiding in those compartments. So, got a whole top storage, below the sink storage. As I said, Benito knows what they're doing when it comes to storage on these boats. Not gonna open up, but there's just a panel with uh, electrical systems access behind that. And if we go in here, there's gonna be a, I guess a really, a truly sectioned off cabin area on this boat. It's about the size of a full-size bed back here. It's nice and chilly right now. Feels really good actually, the air is pumping, but uh, not much to say about it. You get air, you get some reading lights, uh, the bag's in the way, but there should be some plugs and switches hiding there for, well, as I bought my camera, for like phones or what have you. I don't know why I can't figure this out. I'm just not strong enough. That's just gonna be storage behind there. Flip around this way, and it's gonna be more storage. It's Benito, there's storage everywhere. Um, that is just switches and climate control. And actually, I will point out if I get my camera to be happy. Eh, it's not going to be happy, but directly above me, which I probably get a better view here as we exit. There is. This is this is covering it right now, but uh, you can bring that down, and you would cover that window, and you'd have some privacy, darkness, whatever you want in that little space. So close that up. We'll head up to the bow and finish this tour up. But yeah, this boat, really cool boat. I'm a big fan of it. There is a windbreak there. And like I said, you can close that door over. And we have one step up here into the bow area. Very large three-person sun lounging area there. They each get their individual armrest, each with a cup holder. Uh, great space for hanging out. You get sound system going. So have, your own, have yourself a little party up here. Why not? And come straight to the bow and check out Anchor and the locker for the anchor. There's the windlass, controls, all sorts of fun stuff with your road and all that lives in that compartment. And you get more cup holders. <laughs> um, 
but we will flip around here take a quick look at the boat um it's i do like this over like a traditional uh cruiser these coupes most of them offer you get like a walkway you can step through here on the side versus i don't think there's a good example around here right now of where the deck would be like level with the cushions and the cushions just kind of sit on top of it and it's definitely a welcome change that i'm a fan of here in the uh, boating world but not too much to say about this and i don't think i have too much to say about the rest of the boat so i am actually going to take a seat right back where i was and we will finish this guy off all right that was benito's gt32 here at the fort lauderdale international boat show uh really cool boat obviously it's a very competitive category that it's in in the 32 foot area so 30 to 35 foot a lot of options i think benito does a great job and they have a lot to offer at the price point that they have these boats at uh can't say you might not see me looking at one of these in the future someday obviously on the used market but uh, nonetheless i think they do a great job if there's anything else you want to know about this boat i will have a link down in the description you can click that learn more about it set up an appointment to come check out one of these in person for yourself or what have you but that's about all i got thanks for watching